What's up guys? Ice Mount here. So there's been some leaked images for Godzilla vs. Kong and I just discovered this shit last night. Now I'm not going to show it to you because YouTube's going to take down this shit if I do. I'm quite sure of it. But I'm going to describe it to you and it's quite alarming what I think we have to expect for the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong film. So there are a few toys in their boxes, pictures of them, that have been leaked online. One of which is Kong. And, of course, I discussed this in my last video. He comes with a giant axe made of stone. But what's alarming is his bicep has a big tear ripped off of it, man. And even has battle damage. Because this tear is a piece of flesh and it comes with a toy. And you could pop it back in there. Just like the old school Jurassic Park Kenner dinosaurs that had dino damage. Check them out if you haven't yet. They're quite toad. If I had one, I'd show it off, but I think it's in my dinosaur toy box. Maybe in a future video. Yeah, I have a stegosaurus and you could rip its spike off and you could see its bone and blood and shit. It's gross. It's quite detailed. But yeah, Kong comes with battle damage. So, I'm guessing Godzilla's gonna bite his freaking bicep off. That's gonna be disgusting. Or at least he's gonna bite some flesh out of it. Hopefully not rendering his arm completely useless. He's gonna need that arm to swing that axe. So yes, for those of you who are waging for Kong, you better hope it doesn't come to that. Now, there's also a Godzilla toy, and he has battle damage as well. He has a big piece of flesh ripped out of his chest. To the point of where it seems that sort of wound would be deadly as fuck. But I don't know if that's the case. Maybe Godzilla can survive it, hopefully. But this is what we have going on. Here's one more thing. Now this, I think, is the most toad thing in these leaks so far, all right? Godzilla, he has armor and shit on him. And the toys labeled Mega Godzilla. Not Mecha Godzilla, but Mega Godzilla. And he has red armor on his back, just sticking up past his dorsal plates. Just like a big piece of armor that goes up his neck and like around his, uh, his head like this. You know, like something that horses would wear back in the medieval days and shit, where they'd be in battle. Just like horse armor or something, you know what I'm saying? So who the hell is going to make this armor for Godzilla? As far as I know, humankind in general are afraid of him. And if anything, they'd want him dead, right? Uh, it was even mentioned at the end of King of the Monsters how Godzilla has been on the side of humankind, but only for now. And how long can we trust them? him. That's, that's paraphrased, you know, the chick at the end said something like that, but that's how it went. Just questioning how long we can trust Godzilla. So, are folks really going to want to make armor for him? I don't know. And Godzilla's caused a lot of collateral damage in the past. And I'm talking in reference of the MonsterVerse films. In Godzilla 2014, he caused billions of dollars in damage and probably killed thousands of people as just collateral damage from his fight with the Muto. So that's fucked up, man. And I don't know uh, who's gonna make Godzilla this armor. Is Monarch gonna make it for him? I ain't be known if Monarch can be trusted is the problem. So let me know what you guys think about that. Can Monarch be trusted? I don't know, dog. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these leaks, the battle damage and are the fights going to be that bloody and violent? People who have seen test screenings of this film made claim that Godzilla is going to be extremely violent against Kong. So yeah, maybe that's what we get to expect. But what purpose is this armor going to have? Is it even going to be in the film? I suppose we don't quite know that, but I would guess it will be if, you know, there's a toy of it. Is it going to have any other functions or is it just there to protect him? Yeah, but I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys have seen these leaks and what do you think about them? And like the video if you haven't, comment, subscribe, and become a patron if you want. I appreciate my patrons. Thank you for supporting me. More videos to come. Peace be with you.